So this is Robomo, and when it goes out for a run, I have gates on uh, both sides of the house that need to be open so that the Robomo can go out and under them. And we'll see how this works here in just a minute. This is one of the uh, now mostly completed gate systems. Um, you see the actuator and then the control box, which has got a 32-bit micro, microcontroller in it and a LoRa communications module. And there is a uh, solar panel uh, that keeps the batteries in that control module charged. And lastly, there is the power and, well, sort of control unit for the robot. I am covering a, um, an LED indicator that tells us when the mower is mowing. And there is our 32-bit uh, microcontroller board. It's uh, waiting for input from a cadmium sulfide cell, which is wired in there. And there's another gate module with solar panel and control box. Um, and what we'll see is that when the mower exits, the charge, uh, the, the control unit will change its LED uh, configuration. And the uh, sending unit will then um, detect that with an ADC. And it, it has a threshold value. And then it'll send a command to both of these gate control units to open. And let's try that. Okay, I've manually triggered the robot, and as soon as it exits its base, we'll run over and see one of the gates opening. And here comes the gate open. Now this particular gate controller is using an 80 to 1 gearbox, and uh, it's opening the gate pretty slowly. The other one uh, goes more than twice as fast. Uh, and what'll happen is it'll then enter a 30 second wait condition and then check to see that it's continuously receiving packets from the control unit. Um, and uh, it actually opens this pretty far uh, open so that the mower can get through without a problem. And uh, once the 30 second uh, period has elapsed, if it's no longer receiving the signal, uh, it'll go ahead and close. If it is receiving the continuous gate open signal as triggered by the LED, um, it will go ahead and um, uh, keep open if it's receiving the signal, and it keeps resetting a 10 second timer. If that 10 second timer is no longer being reset from a signal that's being sent from the base station, it'll go ahead and trigger the gate to close, and I'll go ahead and have the robot go home, and we'll see that happen. Okay, robot's coming home. And uh, let's go check the control unit in a second. And the gate's now starting to close because the 10 second timer was no longer being reset. And there we go, the gate is closing on its own. How cool is that? So this is a completely custom built and designed system. Uh, all the parts over there are 3D printed except for the screws. Uh, and the gearbox. I still have to shore it up for a little bit of weather resistance, but that's coming. And the other nice uh, thing about this particular actuator is that as soon as it finishes closing, and there's a little bit of slack in, in the crankshaft there, uh, once it closes like that, the gate is actually locked in the locked position, and so you can't open it, uh, at least not very easily. So there it is, guys. Uh, I'll try to uh, add a little bit of a uh, show you the uh, the front gate opening just so you have a little bit of context there as well. Okay, mower has just exited and there we are. Front gate is opening. Uh, actually, it looks like it slightly got stuck there. I have to sand a little surface down and we should be okay. But there it is. Gate open and ready for the mower. And now the 10 second timer should elapse and we should be closing the gate. There it goes the other side, not, I think I said front gate in the video, but the other side gate is now closing automatically and it'll lock in place there after a little bit of play in the crankshaft and it's all set. There you go. Lauf's CSE 412 project.